Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Levels. Yeah. Yes. Yo, yes. Yo, first off, great to meet you. We love your channel. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm I'm really close with Sharp Tone, and they and they sent me your stuff. They actually sent me. I won't tell anybody, but uh, uh, the the entire EP that's coming out, and it's they did not. it's superb. It's so fucking good. Like for real, for real. It's that good. Thank you, man. If you guys could do me a favor, uh, properly introduce yourself. Let me know where in the bouts, whereabouts in the world you are, and uh, please plug or promote anything you like. Okay, you wanna hit it? Yeah. So I am Colby. I'm the vocalist, and uh, we are here in Arkansas at uh, Dalton. Yeah, I'm I'm Dalton. I play drums. We're at his house right now. We're just taking this call from the basement. This Hell video. yeah, Arkansas. Is there is there a really good music scene out in Arkansas? It is small, but it's strong. Um, like everybody seems to be very passionate about music around here, and it's like a very close knit community. And like, d like they wel they welcome anybody in. So once you're in, though, you just immediately are surrounded by by friends. So it's really cool. Yeah, we just saw Gideon not too long ago with some buddies of ours, and uh, ten five six. What'd you say? Was ten ten five six on that on that bill? Maybe. I think it was like Gideon. Uh, I think so. It was like a one-off that they did. Oh, okay. yeah, was, yeah. Honestly, like a hole in the wall venue that they came out to. And dude, I came out of mosh retirement for this show. You busted it out? You busted out the moves? I haven't moshed since I was like 16 maybe. And uh, so it was funny because I don't know if you're familiar with their music, but they, they have this old album. It's called Milestone. And it was like the most that I had ever listened to Gideon. I haven't listened so much to the newer stuff. Uh, but there was a song called Bad Blood on there, and I was telling Dalton and Jacob, our bassist, I, I looked at both of them. I was like, if they play this song, I'm putting my drink down, and I'm sprinting into the pit. And Jacob was like, you have to, man. You have to. And so sure enough, like four songs in, man, they just they played that song. I heard the the beginning guitar riff, and I, I put You're my like, see you, boys. <laughs> I sprinted in. And Jacob came with me, too. My boy came with me. That's awesome. Hell yeah. yeah it, was, it was really cool, man. I was a uh, I was jamming a lot of your guys older catalog last night and it is very heavy compared to some of the new stuff. At, at what point did you decide let's kind of slightly change up the sound? It's still some heavy parts, don't worry, but uh what, what point did you decide that? Um it was it was definitely when we started working with a new producer, Jonathan, um and you kind of need some context to understand like why we decided to do what we did because we used to have a different vocalist uh, when we first started the band and we were all self everything like self produced uh, wrote everything ourselves and really no outside influence and we were just learning the ropes and whenever our first vocalist left the band um, we were like scrambling and at the time I was singing and playing drums and I wanted to, I wanted to take that off my plate. I didn't really like. I loved singing, but I didn't like singing and playing drums. It was just like too much to tackle all at once for me. I'd rather put my all in on playing drums. And so we got a new producer, got in the studio. I was trying to sing again, and then Colby had joined the band like two years prior to us uh, going to the new producer. I think it was about two years, right? I think so. Something like that. <laughs> Irrelevant. But uh, Colby, we were writing a new song with Jonathan. We were still writing heavy stuff, uh, like kind of what we knew and the sound that we had gotten to at that point. And then I think it was – I had tried a chorus, and then Colby was like, I really want to try singing. And so we are like, get in there and sing. And he got in there and sang, and it was just like, holy shit. This had, guy had, had you, Colby, had you like – sung a lot or is that just something that was new for you because Jonathan told you to try it so okay so so rewinding it a little bit I like way back in the day um when I first joined the band I wanted to maximize the potential of the band because I knew everybody in the band outside of myself was like the best at what they did like Jagger best at guitar 
Dalton best at drums, Jacob De- best at bass. And I was like, oh my God, this band is actually going to go somewhere, like regardless of myself. And I I listen to thousands of different types of music every single day of my life. Metal metal being like... That a boy. Me too, that a boy. Yeah. <laughs> So literally, man, if I pulled up my Spotify right now, it would be it would be very interesting. Um, and so I had heard uh, Jonathan. I had heard a band that Jonathan is the producer of called Rogue. And they are good buddies of mine now. Uh, and I was like, oh, my God, who's who's producing this? Because this is phenomenal. Like, holy crap. So and, and funny, because it turns out Dalton had already been in contact with him years prior. Jonathan. Uh, yeah. Jonathan. Belize. Yeah. And so we kind of it just came full circle. And I was like, dude, we need to, like, jump on a phone call with this guy. Like, no, it, it, we just need to jump on a phone call and see what this guy is about. See, see if he'll, like, mess with our vision and, and see, like, what kind of pointers he can help us with. Whatever. See if he'll even entertain us. And so finally, we jumped on a phone call with Jonathan. Uh, it was myself, you, and I think it was Jagger. Jagger, Jagger was there. And uh, at first, they didn't want to budge. They didn't want to switch from the previous uh, producers that we were going with. But Jonathan really like, – we wanted to change our sound, and we just wanted to pave a new path in the industry. We wanted to create a new sound. We wanted to be extremely unique. And we only wanted to hire someone that knew the vision of where we wanted to go. Um, at, at, let me pause for one second. At what point during this process does Landon get involved? Okay, so that- that's – that is that's later. That's, that's more like, recent. That's more yeah. recent. Okay, okay. Because I noticed yeah. that the, the first two singles with Sharp Tone are, are the Landon singles, correct? Right. Correct. They're actually some of the newest songs and the other songs that are on the EP were actually from some of our first sessions with Jonathan. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, kind of did the flip and reverse. Yeah. Well it's working. It's working. Yeah. Whatever yeah. that formula is working. <laughs> What's it like working with Landon though? How was that experience? Um so it, I think it was Jonathan's idea. It was. it was like it was like one of our later times in the studio, and Jonathan's really good at piecing people together. Like he'll he'll know, he knows a lot of people, so he'll be like, okay, I think this person meshed well with this person, mm-hmm. or they would bring something to the table for this person. He's really good at connecting the dots, and so it was Jonathan's idea to bring Landon on board. They had talked before, uh, him and Jonathan, but they had never met up or met in person or worked together, and so. We were kind of like the what would you call it? Like we were their we were their first date together. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, cool. yeah. Landon and Jonathan. And <laughs> yeah, so, hell yeah. Then what was he eating? Uh, what, steak what, and shake. Steak and shake. <laughs> and we just walked in straight off the plane from uh, from flying in, and he had a steak and shake bag in his hand, and I was like, oh my god, it's fucking landed tourists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty insane. We uh, we we drove from Arkansas out to Nashville, picked up Landon. Me and Jacob picked him up at the airport, and like we had no idea what to expect. We were like, "How is this gonna be? Like we've never met somebody like this before." And so it turns out like we were all just super cool with each other and instantly clicked. Yeah, like, it was like was... it was like Christmas morning. Like it was just a gift. Landon came through the door, and everyone. I mean, at first it was like kind of. We we're trying to figure out like how to gauge it, but then we kind of broke the ice. And usually, what happens is, I, I'm the most roasted in the band. Everyone roasts me the most, so it, it, it just took a few times for them to roast me in order for Landon to actually start roasting me. <laughs> and so, yeah, it just, that breaks the ice with all the jokes and stuff. Broke the ice by roasting me, so it was totally cool. It was all fun, and by the time he left, he didn't want to leave, and we were all just we were all just boys. Yeah, as cool. as far as like uh, actually the work process of working with him though, like on the studio side, the dude is a musical genius. Like he just he sees and hears things in his head, and I don't know where it comes from, but the way he can just relay it and and bring it to life is incredible. And it's really cool to like hear him singing a melody or something in real life, like coming up with it in real time. And it sounds like spot on to what you hear on a recording. It's just kind of a, this weird thing to hear it in real life versus on a recording. That is awesome. At, at this point, is had you guys already submitted to Sharptone or Sharptone contacted you prior to this? Or like how was the process of actually signing a deal with them? Um, so they did not, we hadn't talked to them at this point. We were still focusing on writing songs and getting something to actually present to them. And then it was Jonathan, I believe 
what we consider Jonathan like another member of the band. He's like essentially in the band. He's just he doesn't play live with us. That's pretty much it. He's the fifth member. Yeah, he's yeah the, we, we like to refer to him in the studio as just the fifth member. His opinions are just mm-hmm. as valid as ours are. Yeah. You know? And so he actually reached out to Sharp Tone because I think he had like been in talks with them before, but like not, not really anything super uh, formal or friendly. It's just like maybe a hey here and there, like this is what I'm working on. And so he pitched on our behalf the EP to them and they just they liked what they heard. I'm pretty sure they heard Breed first, which is uh, one of the so- singles off the EP and saw the music video for it. Feb of 2024 coming out soon. <laughs> Hell yeah. And so that's that's what piqued their interest. Did you guys are you aware of the trivia portion of the show? We heard about it. We don't yeah. know I, I don't, don't know much about we it. We haven't just, seen it, but we just heard we're okay. prepared. We've got little cups. Okay, okay. So, so here I'll expl- I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it to you. So you lemon get lemon juice. Okay, lemon juice works. So <laughs> we'll just do like we'll say you just squirt like a big old amount of lemon juice, and then um. So I I usually do hot sauce. So oh, I'm I've got a sauce guy. You got hot sauce? Okay, cool. If do you have it on you, or do you want to go grab it? Some. Well, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm. He said I'm a hot sauce guy. I, I I'm obsessed with hot sauce. I eat it for every single meal. Is there any hot sauce in the vicinity? I can grab some, yeah. Okay, yeah. before you before you grab it, before you grab it, the trivia, okay. you get to pick the trivia. What movie or TV show, if you guys could agree on one or the other, that have you seen the most, where if I look up trivia on a, this movie or TV show, there's no way I stump you. Whether you get it right or wrong, I'm going to do some ghost pepper blueberry hot sauce, whether you get it right or wrong. Blueberry? That's, that's so that's, hard. That's so hard for me because I don't have the attention. I have the attention span of a gnat. Do you I cannot sit down on TV. Have you watched like Walking Dead, Breaking Dead? No, Down? I don't know any freaking TV what? shows. What? You no. got to see that. Those are some good ones. Those are great. You're missing out on Oh my art. God. There's no way. There's no way. Give me give me another example of a TV show that you would. Uh, the Simpsons, South Park. You can pick anything in the universe though. South any South Any South movie or TV show. Dude, I haven't watched a TV show in forever. I oh. think movies, movies are easier because it's like two hours versus 10 seasons. Right, right. Any oh, movies man. that you're obsessed with? Not obsessed, man. I haven't watched. Dude, I like Mark uh, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> uh, we could do. I don't know either of them. What about Ted? Have you seen Ted a bunch of times? Mark I've, seen, bunch. I've seen Ted once. I've seen it once. Okay, we won't go with that one then. Go grab the hot sauce and, and I'll ask Dalton some questions and we'll we'll think about yeah, it. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I, I'm good at the like really popular TV shows like. Like I said, Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, I could Dexter. If if that's okay with you, we can look up. Let's uh, have Dexter is a great choice. We don't get Dexter as picked very often. Is, you want to maybe roll with that? I could roll with that. Yeah. Okay. I had a I had a roommate once, and I got him to watch Dexter, and he watched it literally up until the last episode, and he refused to watch the last episode because he swore that he knew what would happen, and he was like, "I'm not watching it." Well, has he seen like the new season of it? I highly doubt it. Yeah, because it 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 was kind of you know not to the spoilers, but the last episode almost always is not what everyone wants it to be, so everyone's always let down. But then I thought the new show was pretty good. I'll have to check it out because I haven't I I've seen it on there, but I haven't actually clicked on it. So, so I'll like check it. so like Dexter's been like in hiding for a while. Uh, I think he's in Canada, if I recall. And then stuff starts to go wrong, and uh, his son finds him. Um, Check that out. Yeah. All right, so we were going with Dexter. Uh, Colby, I don't think you've ever seen it before, so you're not going to know it. But... I'm screwed. I'm going to end up drinking this whole damn bottle, I'm sure. Hurtin', Hurtin' Habanero. Okay, Ghost Hurtin Pepper Habanero. Blueberry Hurtin' Habanero. Uh, I'll, give me a second to look that up. But um, what, are, what do you guys have for 2024 that you're allowed to tell us about? Uh, that we can look forward to. I know some of that stuff's like under wraps until you know it gets announced. But what are you allowed to tell us? The the EP for sure is coming out February second. February second. Yep, twenty twenty four. Uh, that is when. Can we say the? We can say the song names. Yeah, that is when all the other songs drop. So we have we have uh, we have Pulse out right now, obviously, and then Siren Hymn just came out, uh, and then the rest of the three songs. That'll be on the EP uh, that drop on the second will be a song called Opium of Man, Realign, and then Breed, which... Which, is one, is, which one is track three? 
Track? Oh, that I, might be that might be Breed. No, I think Breed's first. Oh, Repulse we... is for God. I, I don't even know. <laughs> it's your guy's own EP. We, That's funny. I, I, I'm kind of out of the loop in like all this stuff. These guys take care of most of it. I just show up. Track uh, to realign, I think, is number three. Okay. Yeah, realign like really stood out to me. As, uh, is that the one that starts with a nice clean guitar? It's, it's kind of like I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click the link. It is realign. It is realign. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That so one. That was the that was the first song we ever recorded in like that super low tuning that we play in, because up until that point we'd always been in drop G, and then we decided to uh, get extended scale guitars and tune down to like double drop E and D. How low can you go? I, I don't. Well, I don't play guitar. How, how low can one go? man we're trying to figure it out <laughs> go lower go lower hell yeah uh okay this is your first dexter trivia i think it's kind of an easy one but i can judge you know if you completely have no idea then i'll go easier but if you get it like that then i'll go a little bit harder here we go dexter. where does dexter first meet leela leela damn this sucks you can't even help me i don't even uh, was it? That was the girl that. This is the easy one. This is the easy. This is the easy one. Let's go with coffee shop. That is not correct. Enjoy the hot sauce. It is a Narcotics Anonymous meeting. What? A Narcotics. Wait, so can I just do a drop? This shit's hot as hell, man. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go whoop like a little quick spit. What? Oh, I'm going lemon juice here. Enjoy. That face he just made was extremely enticing. Huh. Oh my god! Ugh. Let's get it. <laughs> now that we're su- now that we're suffering a little bit, tell me who made you want to pick up drumsticks? Who made you want to pick up a microphone when you were young? I've I've got my story on lock because it's super easy. My brother got a drum set for Christmas, and I got a guitar. I was supposed to play guitar, and then. He just never opened the drum set, and I really didn't gravitate towards guitar. And one day I just saw that drum set. It was like a first act set from Walmart, and it was just sitting in the box, and I just set it up and played it. Like, nobody tried to get me to play it or ask me to. I just, like, saw it there. I was like, I think I'm going to set this drum set up. And that's just kind of where it all started. Can you play guitar at all, or just you immediately was like, nah, that's not for me? Just the rhythm. The fingers don't move where they need to line up at. (laughs) What about yourself, uh, Colby? Um, so I first started wanting to sing back when my parents, I don't know, when I was super, super young. My mom would always listen to country music. My dad would always listen to like heavy metal, uh, Metallica, Rage Against Machine, stuff like that. And so I grew to absolutely be obsessed with those kind of bands. I started as like, as far as bands, I started as a guitarist, uh, but I was I, that was back when I didn't even really know how to play guitar. I just had gotten one and I was like, trying to i don't know i was a wannabe but we started a band when i was like 15 14 even and uh we needed a vocalist so i was like uh i'll do it whatever so i just became a vocalist from that day on and then you know all the bands that we kind of rub shoulders with now uh are really the ones that inspired me i mean i grew up on abr um hugely inspirational for me stuff like that so i don't know i would say just oh did, you ever heard of the band uh barrier dead yeah yeah, so they were one of the OGs for me as well when I first got into metal. Okay, so and do you they, still do you still play a little bit or? Uh, I you do play acoustic now. a little bit. Yeah, I play acoustic. I like to play acoustic and sing around here and there, but um, there's nothing that I you know there's no project or anything that's coming out of that. Yeah, <laughs> never never maybe like a a level stripped. We were just talking about that. Mm. Well, uh, before yeah, we'll we be able to it. disclose more information about that later. Okay, yeah. I got you. Future, future, future. Just, uh, just, so. just yeah. be, yeah, just be, just be on the lookout for some levels strip stuff for sure. Because we, uh, going back to you know all the different inspirations as far as genres that I listen to, and and everybody in the band really, there's there's plenty of opportunity for us to uh, to break down some of our songs and make them a little bit more stripped and acoustic or whatever it is like that. So we're probably definitely going to pursue those routes. Cool. In the uh, future. We'll try I'll one more. We'll try one more uh, Dexter question. This one is substantially easier than the Go previous ahead. question. Say, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deborah Morgan 
falls head over heels for Frank Lundy, the special agent. Do you remember him? Yes. Frank Lundy would always bring a very odd sandwich to work. Do you remember what was on his sandwich? Damn it. I oh wish I was in the loop gosh. on this. I'm just going to grab the hot sauce now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was like... Uh... I'm going to go Scorpion Reaper Ancho Mensala. Oh, my oh God. I love that brand. I love that brand. Bravado. Oh Those are pretty good. Hot sauce connoisseur? Yeah, I got about 20 or 30, but I try to put a dent in like five or six at a time before I go to the other ones. And uh, it's kind of more entertaining if it's like the really, really, really hot ones. So, yeah. Tuna and egg. You need to go on hot ones. We get it. I would love to. We're stumped you again. <laughs> Cucumber and cream cheese is the answer. What? I don't think it would be that bad, though. No. I feel like I ate, I ate one of those today with uh, smoked salmon on it. Really? Yeah, straight up. Interesting. Well, hot sauce time one more time. And, oh, and, and lemon juice. Let's go. And lemon juice, yep. I just drank mine anyways. <sighs> what? That's tangy. BG, where are you at in the world? Yeah. I'm uh, born and raised in South Florida, <clears throat> but I live in Southern California. Now you live in Southern oh. California? Correct. I have for the last 14 years. We may That's become neighbors awesome. sometime soon. I'm trying to move out there soon. What part? Like uh, Anaheim, uh, well, LA? So I've been to, uh, well, we've been to LA a couple times. There's just a little too much for me. I would rather commute up there because I know I'm going to eventually have to for. For, for music and whatnot, but I would love to live in San Diego. Uh, probably like North Park area, stuff like that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I love we'll, it out there. We'll grab some beers sometime. That'll be fun. Absolutely. Where, where, are you in, um, where are you in Southern Cal? I'm in Victorville, which is from San Diego. It's a good two and a half hours north. Oh, really? But I'm, I'm on the way to Vegas. You go literally like right by me on the way to Vegas. So for oh, me, well, LA is like an hour and a half away. Yeah, nice. that's a good distance. Yeah, cool. it's, I live in what's called the high desert, and it's just a bunch of sand everywhere. It's not there's not a lot of <laughs> going on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do a couple more questions, and we'll let you guys go. Um, do, are, do you have any phobias or anything that freaks you out? Um, anything that like freaks me out? Claustrophobia. Probably. Claustrophobia. Like, it's got to be freaks real tight out. though, because I don't mind going caving. I'll go through a cave, but like if I just the thought of being trapped somewhere, like if you were to get pinned in a avalanche or some kind of earthquake cave in, like that shit freaks pa me. Panic out. attacks would start occurring. Just yeah, not being able to move, like and knowing that I'm stuck there is terrifying to me. I don't really have anything that freaks me out off the top of my head, at least. I mean, I'm I'm pretty scaredy cat sometimes, but I don't know if anything that freaks me out off the top of my head. What about you? I uh let's see. What do what, what <laughs> my wife's walking in at the same time. What what am I scared of? Do I have any phobias? Yes, you're scared, you're scared of heights. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> Oh, okay. But my my height thing is like was weird. I love heights like if I'm on a roller coaster and we're going straight up, all that's cool. I hate stuff where I'm like on an edge and someone's like, "Oh, look how high up we're look down." I had this like freak out dream like when I was younger that I was doing that and someone's like, oh, oh, oh and like bumps into me and I fall off. Yeah, that gives me chills. So you probably you probably shouldn't watch those those Russian dudes that climb the top of like those buildings and stuff that are no, on no the way. Top, no and way. They, and they like have a GoPro on the top of their heads and stuff. I, I'm not but doing yeah, any of that say, stuff. I would say heights is probably one of mine as well. I'm mean, like, I can fly on a plane all day long, but if same same scenario as you, if I'm standing up there and I'm like looking down, I'm like, damn, like I kind of want to jump right now just to find out what would happen, but I obviously don't want to. <laughs> if uh, if it, we'll just do like one or two more, then we'll wrap it up if that's okay with you guys. Uh, if yeah, if we, Sharp Tone was like, hey, let's put out a different version of Pulse. Let's let's do a remix, and you can have anybody on our roster on that remix. Who would you pick? Dead or alive? Uh, we'll say a alive. I mean, like on Sharp Tone's current roster. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh! I was gonna say I, I would put Elvis on it. Just, <laughs> oh, that'd be just, sweet. <laughs> just the dance moves um, on Sharp Tone's roster. So okay, so re so the so like was let's say let's say uh, Sharp Tone's like, hey, let's do like a remix of one of your songs, but you can have anybody on our roster on the remix. Who would you choose? Like, feature it. Yeah, just as a cool feature. 
God, I would probably <sighs> sharp tone bands. Okay, I, m- one of my favorite sharp tone bands is Make Them Suffer. So I would probably have their vocalist on it some in some shape or form. That's probably my answer. Mm, yeah. Great answer, dude. That's a tough one for me. Um, does do does it have to be the current members that are currently on it? No, it could be uh, you know a past a past artist. It's all good. Well, if it was a past artist, I would probably pick. My lips are on know. fire from that hot sauce, by the way. Uh, I, I was literally. Yeah, yeah my I, lips are burning. Yeah, I loved uh, Shaylee when he was with a Mice and Men. Oh, Dayshell. Yeah, yeah, They're Shaylee. All, all, yeah, Shaylee. That's so cool. I think that'd be sick to have him on a track. We're we're actually really close with Shaylee. Uh, we talked no, to him. Fa- we talked to him fairly often, so we could probably make that happen if if they would ever if they ever yeah. approve that that feature. That'd be cool. I just I grew up on that era of the Mice and Men, and so that's really that was a lot of my metalcore metal influence. Yeah, he's he's amazing. I love the new record too. It's it's really really good. And my, their drummer was one of my biggest inspirations too when I was uh, learning how to play drums. Was that Tito? Tino, yeah. Tino, Tino with the N, yeah. Tino, yeah, that's yeah. right, that's right. Uh, fellas, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it with this final question, and then after that, please plug, promote again anything you'd like. But the final question is: When we're not working on music, we're not hanging out with family. What just makes you happy? Sitting outside with all my animals. What kind of animals? You got a, you got a bunch of animals. I do. I've got two dogs, two cats, uh, four chickens, a leopard gecko, and lots of house plants. Four My chickens. Is yeah. is that like uh, you eat one every now and then, then the egg, and we'll let the egg become another chicken thing, or did you just <laughs> you've had these four chickens for many years? Okay. All, all eggs, all eggs. I keep the same four chickens, and we're very close. Oh, cool. That that yeah. is that's awesome. I've never heard of that before. So nice. they'll, they'll walk up to you and grab the snacks out of your hands. They'll jump up on your arm, get up on your shoulder. They're really nice. I love that. That's a great yeah. answer. So that makes me really happy. Just spending time outside with some good weather and grounding. The, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then what would you say? What makes you happy, Colby? Uh, I love fitness. Uh, so I love anything that involves me to be like in or near the gym, um, riding bikes, anything, uh, the ice bucket is the ice, the ice, uh, the ice barrels fun, that kind of stuff. I haven't really done it in a little bit, but, uh, hanging out with my dog, my dog is actually a, uh, he's handicapped. So his, his back legs actually don't work. So Does he have like I, the I, mini wheelchair looking thing behind him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. He's, he's a hot so rod. He, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. He's a hot dog, hot rod dog. I don't know if you can see it here, but Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's cutie. There. He's cute. Yeah, that's Maverick. So if I'm not working on music or at work or anything like that, I'm spending my spending my time with him, and uh, we camp out a good bit here and there, and the gym and just listening to music, jamming out, and uh, hanging out with him and his wife and whatnot. Yeah, just having a good time. That's awesome. Cooking. We cook a lot. Yeah. We cook a lot. Levels EP Pulse drops February 2nd. Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Please plug, promote, final thoughts, anything you'd like us to know. Sure. Um, So our official website is levels-band.com. And you can find our whole discography on there, more information about the band, merchandise. Um, I think like, like just some cool little stuff like promos, past show flyers, stuff like that. Really all encompassing everything you need. It has external links to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, you can find us on there on, on those places at like Instagram's levels.band, Facebook is levels.metal, and I think Twitter is currently levels cult. cult. We're trying to think of something <laughs> with, with better a, than that. C V L T. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, fellas, the EP is amazing. People are going to freak out when they hear it. So be prepared to instantly be catapulted into semi-stardom and then possibly serious stardom after all the touring that I know hasn't been announced yet that's coming. But uh, I'm excited for you guys, man. It's hard work is paying off and and it's just so good. Like it really is. The EP is that good. 
we also just want to take the time to say thank you to you. Yeah, and, we, uh, we couldn't do this without you or and people like you that do what you reaction do. Reaction channels are like its own industry uh, in the metal industry these days. And literally, you guys, what you guys do is like God's work. Because yeah. some of the bands that I even know these days, because I watch a ton of reaction channels. Uh, and some of the bands that I know these days are, I find out from people like yourself. Like, no name bands that I've never even heard of. And then I listen to stuff. And I'm like, holy crap! Becomes I gotta check your favorite these guys. band, and then they become our favorite bands and whatnot. So you guys are seriously doing the Lord's work out here, and and we could not be more honored to be on your channel, man. It's sick. It's it's really cool to see it. I love you guys, man. We're definitely getting beers when you come to San Diego. Please, it's yeah, good times, man. good times, good vibes, gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is a lot of fun. I appreciate you, and congratulations on the signing. And again, the EP is superb. Comes out February second. It's called Pulse, ladies and gentlemen. Let's yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. Go, baby. Right. Enjoy your day, guys. Thank you. Yes, thanks for having us, man. We'll stay in touch. Yes, I'm gonna put this on YouTube uh, tomorrow morning. I'll ta I'll send it to you on Instagram. Perfect. The link, all that Perfect. stuff. Cool. Check it out. Cheers. Talk to you, BG.